it's Alyssa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys have waited for this moment for a few weeks now and I'm so so sorry it took me so long to film it. I personally had some problems figuring out how the new update of it worked and if it was possible to get the old one instead of the new one. It doesn't really make any sense but I'm going to walk you guys through it and the video that I posted was super duper rushed and I feel like this one's going to be a lot more chill and this one's just gonna make a lot more sense so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave me a comment in the description no comment in the comment section and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy and now for the moment you've been waiting for let's get on with this video okay guys so in the mints of everything just to make sure that you guys know that i'm not like cheating or anything like that just so you guys can get super familiar and just know that this works and exactly how to do it from your perspective i'm going to delete all four of my shortcuts so now it's a completely blank gallery okay so the first thing that you need to do is you need to allow all untrusted shortcuts and for you to be able to do this you have to run shortcuts once so you want to click the add button and you want to click add action and i'm just going to do an open app done and it should add to your home screen so I have these two, but since I deleted this one, it just opens Among Us. But the point, the entire point of this video is to not have to go through shortcuts every single time that you want to do this. So you first of all have to run it and then you want to go to settings. And you want to go to shortcuts. And it should be this one. And you basically want to make sure the add allow untrusted shortcuts is on. And to do this, you just have to run it once. So, yeah. And then you want to type in your passcode. And, yeah. So, now that you're ready and set, you want to go to the link in my description. Or you guys can just type in icon themer. You want to look up icon themer. But I'm going to put it in the description just so it's easier. And the first one to pop up, the Routine Hub icon themer, is the one that you want to click on. There's a way to go to go through Reddit, but it's just going to be the same link anyway. Instead, because last time I just told you to click it. But now that there's the new update, you want to get the old version instead of the new version. So you don't want to click Get Shortcut. You want to scroll down. And you can read all of this, but I already read it and you don't really need any of it. All you gotta do is go to version, version, version history. And now you have all of these versions. And I scroll down to a month and two weeks, so 48 downloads. So we're gonna do 0 0.2.2 .2, and we're just gonna click download and then click open. And then just give it a second to kind of download into just so you can get the shortcut. And then this is going to pop up. All you got to do is you got to scroll to the bottom and you click add and trust the shortcut and continue. Okay, so now that you have this, you just basically want to click it and you want to click the little mountains and it's going to ask you if you want to update it. Just click no, not now. Okay, and then there's two ways to do this. So you first of all, either search an app store or custom a bundle ID. So for these, you just want to search it in app store and you want to type the one that you want to do. But if you want to do like a system app or like an app like settings or photos or like ones that you already have installed before you install anything, like right when you get your phone, it's already installed. You want to go to system apps, which is the custom storage bundle, if that makes any sense. You want to choose the app that you want and then you're just going to click okay you want to choose it from photos this is where you should have it and just allow access to your photos this is where you should have like your icon but i'm just gonna do this one right here and this is what it's gonna be called so i'm just gonna call it tiktok and you want to just click okay and then okay done and it's going to bring you to this and you just want to click allow and click close so what this does is it makes you go to settings you want to click profile download it should be the first one at the top just because it's like that and then you just want to click install and then you want to type in your passcode and then just click install install and then click done and now you have these two if you ever want to delete it, just literally click remove profile. So then it should literally just pop up on your page and then you click 
the button and then boom it brings you to tiktok again everything about this app is literally the app it has like it's all of my like tiktoks right here um and then it's all of my drafts like it's the physical app it's just you're not going through shortcuts the first time um and yeah so that is basically how i did it and i'm gonna answer a few questions that you guys had in the last video okay so one of the questions is i did everything that you said but you have to go to settings to approve it and the person was really really confused again you have to go to settings and then it should pop up pop up pop up at the top but if not then go to settings then general and then scroll down until you find this thing called profile and then you click the profile and then all of these buttons will pop up and you click the one with the app that you want to install and then you just click install at the top right okay this next one is it keeps making me add shortcuts beforehand meaning first of all you have to add a shortcut before you click the untrusted shortcut it keeps making me add shortcuts but it's not working try using an old version instead of the new version because it's a little confusing what if you can't download it like it says you have one shortcut okay again click the old one instead of the new one i think it'll be a lot easier Will it work on an iPhone 6? I don't know, I personally do not have an iPhone 6, but I'm pretty sure as long as you have the iOS 14 update, then you'll be completely fine. Um, Like I'm lost, I keep downloading it and it won't work. Again, for the third time, try to download the um, version history, like the old one, and then you should be completely fine. It should work exactly like how it works for me. Will it give you a virus? No, it will not give you a virus according to my experience, but I mean, always be on your guard. Just make sure that everything is good just by double checking and let me know in the comments if you do get a virus just so you can help everybody out. Um, and yeah, so this is just the way that I did it and it, I didn't personally get a virus. Um, I went through people's comments and they said that it gave them a virus. I'll just wait until Apple makes an update and where it doesn't have to pop up on shortcuts. Okay, so we don't necessarily know that Apple is going to ever give you an update saying that you don't have to go through shortcuts, but it's completely your choice. I'm not forcing you to do anything. This is just for the people that don't want to wait. But I think that that is all of the questions that you guys asked me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this is helpful and... Yeah, I will make sure to answer all of your comments in the description, and yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so sorry this took so long to publish, um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for all of the endless support and the recent amazingness that you guys have been doing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it, and I'm so sorry for this, like, glare. I don't know if that's, like, in your face or anything like that, but again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um... And yeah, I will see you guys next week or in a few days. Bye! <laughs>